Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, basically in today's video, I feel like doing a bit of a pastel rainbow. And I saw an image on the Pantone Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, I'm really inspired by those colours. I'll get more into that when we get into the video. But, if you are new here, hi, my name is Lily Lewis and I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. And during this quarantine, I'm going to be giving you so many damn videos. But yeah, let's get bloody started. <laughs> There's this image on Pantone that I am getting my inspiration from. I just think that's such a pretty, like, colour palette. And I was like, oh, I don't really know if I've got any palettes like that. Bitch, yes I do. The Creepy Cute palette from Shroud Cosmetics. I know it says Strobe Cosmetics, but they renamed their brand. But when you look inside this, look, I've got all the colours. I've got that pinky pastel, I've got the orange pastel the bluey pastel, the purple pastel, and that really nice, like, it's almost like a lime green, but it's also a pastel. So yeah, I'm really excited to jump into this palette. This palette is really good, by the way. If you have never heard of the brand, highly recommend this. Probably my favorite pastel palette I own. But yeah, let's jump into it, and I'll just show you how good it is. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette we're gonna go in with. I'm gonna go in with Strawberry Milk first. And I'm grabbing that on my JS13 and I'm going to pack that on in the inner portion of my eye. Now I want to make this look quite like blown out so I'm going to take it quite far out as well like here. But um, yeah this palette is so pigmented and so good. I highly recommend it. You'll see, like with the final look, you'll see. But yeah, I'm taking strawberry milk and I'm taking it almost to my eyebrow and in my actual crease as well. And then I'm grabbing my JS12 and using that to blend it out. Right, then I'm gonna take third eye and pop that in the center portion. Just right here, I love this colour, it's so bright, I like, look at that. <gasps> yes, yes fucking please. And I'm going to take that out quite far, like this. Ooh. Such a pretty shade, like look at it, look how pigmented it is as well. Oh I love it, oh I love it, love it, love it, love it. I think the only like kind of shade that this palette is missing is like a pastel yellow. I think that would have set it off. Like get rid of the black or the grey and put a pastel yellow. Oh, Bob's your uncle. That would have been so good. And once again, grabbing this brush and blending it all out. Also, these colours are really easy to work with because they're pastel. They just like blend out like a dream. They're so easy to work with. Then I'm grabbing the shade Cold Shoulder. And I'm going to put that right at the end of my eye. Right here. Oh my god, I forgot how pigmented this blue is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow. Now, orange and blue make a bit of a brownie colour. But I'm going to try avoid that by just by going like between the two and just tapping them next to each other, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just going to tap in between the blue and the orange and hopefully not really get that brownie colour. Right, I actually want to take the eyeshadow off a bit higher. So I'm going to go a little bit higher with all of those shades and maybe bring this blue out a little bit more as well. And then grabbing this brush again and blending it out. Okay, and no cut crease from me today because I just kind of just don't feel like it. But yeah, anyway, going on with the next colour. I'm going to go in with Take a Hint. And I'm going to pop that right. This is another really pigmented one, like the green and the blue in here. Look. Oh. My God. Stunning. But yeah, I'm just going to take this in the first portion of my eye. Oh my God, that's stunning. The green and the blue are definitely like standouts for me. Like they're just, they stand out so much in this palette. 
But it's not saying the other colours are bad, it's just those two are really bright and like really spot on. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just popping this on the first portion of my eye and kind of blending it into those other colours, but not dramatically because I just kind of want it to fade into the other colours more than like blend into it, if that makes sense. Actually, I'm going to take that green a little bit further, like the third of the way over my eye. And then I'm going to go in with this teal pastel, which is called Creep It Real. And I'm grabbing that shade and popping that in between the blue and the green so that we get a nice fade across the eye. Oh, that one's really pigmented as well. <laughs> really minty. A gorgeous colour. And then I'll just take a little bit of cold shoulder and press that on the very outer portion of my eye. Okay, then I'm going to take these two from Jeffree Star. So this is Breakfast at Tiffany's and this is No Offence. And I'm going to use them to draw a liner. Okay, so first I'm going to take Breakfast at Tiffany's and I'm going to start drawing a line across my eye. I'm running out. I really need a full size of this because I'm on my last leg with this one. It's a beautiful colour though, so I'm not surprised. I used to use it all the time for liner and on my lips and she's only a mini so it's not going to get very far. Okay just with that line I think that's really pretty but my extra ass has to add no offence as well so <laughs> let's do that. I've stuck down some sticky tape and I'm going to take that wing just past where my blend ends and then I'm going to look forward and take it right back in. And that's where my wing's going to be. And yeah, there you go. You've got your wing. Okay, and now for the reveal. <gasps> Cute. Oh my god, love. I love that. I'm just going to tidy this off off camera, up off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, apparently I wasn't recording, but I've just gone in with Plant Chat on my under eye, just right here, and I've blended it about halfway on the under eye. And then I'm going to grab Strawberry Milk again, which is that pink, and just pop that on the rest of the rest half of the under eye. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, that is almost the eye look done. I'm just going to pop off camera, put some lashes on. I'm going to mix Flamethrower with Drug Lord and put a orange, like, pastel neon, pastel in the waterline, not a neon. It's not a neon at all. And I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so we are back with the lashes and I'm going to go in to the shade Strawberry Milk and use that as a blush. I think that would be quite pretty. So I'm just grabbing the, um, the Morphe R14. I got this in the mystery box and I've just been using it for blush because I didn't really have a blush brush. But I've been using this and I'm just going to lightly dust this on the cheeks because I think it'd be really pretty. Just add like a nice little pink moment. Yeah, I like that. See, look at this side compared to this side. I think it just like makes the eye look pop more. So I love that. Okay, brilliant. Now for inner corner and highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade right here from the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Pro Contour Palette. You know the one. Yeah, this one. And I'm first going to take that in the inner corner. Pretty. 
And I'm also going to take that in my eyebrow bone as well. And then lastly as highlighter. Oh yes. I love it. I think it just goes really well with this look. So yeah, there she is. Okay, and then the last step is lips and I'm gonna go in with Christmas Cookie, my favorite nude from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I haven't used this in a minute and I absolutely love this shade. So let's pop that on. Oh, I just love, it's literally on my lips, but better. Okay guys, and that is the finished look. So this is the finished look with the Creepy Cute palette. Now, if you want a good pastel, this is a damn palette that you need. This black is also extremely pigmented, so pigmented it's literally gotten everywhere and stained so many things because it broke for some reason. But yeah, this palette is really good. Like, you can see how well that these colours work, and yeah, I highly recommend this, but only if you can afford it during this time. So... <laughs> Very good palette. But yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat before I end this video. So I am, I've been on Instagram for oh, two years now and I hit like 11K the other day, which is just insane to me. But one of my, I think what I want to do now is that I've reached my highest goal, which is getting the Jeffree Star Cosmetics PR, is I want to see if I can get other brands to post my face. I really want my face posted on other brands' pages because I don't face tune or anything on my photos. I show all my skin texture and I kind of want to like spread that out to other brands because they just keep reposting the blurred skin. Oh, I just find it so awful. Editing photos is fine. We all edit our photos. I edit my photos. I edit them to look more than they do in real life because on camera it just doesn't pick up the vibrancy and the colours true to colour. So I edit the saturation up. That's fine. But blurring your whole skin out and blurring out your imperfections, mm, you don't need to. Like, everyone's got them. Why should we blur them out? I don't understand. But yeah, anyway, um... I'm going to start a new thing on my Instagram where I have like a plain background instead of this beautiful background. I do really love and appreciate this background, but I don't think brands are going to post me because I have so much Jeffree Star in my background. So I'm going to be having a more plain background. But yeah, I just wanted to say that before I finish off this video. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below what you would like to see from me. I think I want to do a few more Makeup Revolution palettes. So I've got the one that's like a dupe for Blue Blood. And I was thinking half Blue Blood, half that palette would be fun video. I've also got the London one, which is also kind of a dupe for the androgyny palette which could be interesting to do a side by side and I also have another palette I can't remember what the name of it right now it was like a Halloween palette from last year that I really want to do a grungy eye with but yeah like do you want to see a cut crease from me do you want to see this more more of this kind of eye what do you want to see from me let me know I want to give you guys what you want to see and yeah that's about it for today's video guys if you haven't already I would literally love if you're subscribed to my channel as well I'm slowly growing and as soon as I get monetized, I'm going to be doing my husband's makeup on camera using blue blood. So subscribe basically. <laughs> but yeah, that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're all staying safe and washing your hands. Bye.